amazing audience. We are live today in Philadelphia uh, at the E Weber building, making this uh, possible. E Weber team, uh, I'd say lead player Tom Tate. Most definitely, uh, it's a great pleasure to have this conversation. We are looking forward to have a conversation with someone who I think is very prepared for it, uh, for what he's going to get. But it's a great pleasure to meet with you, Brandon. Yeah, it's good. Brandon Olson, right? Yeah. That's a fascinating name. <laughs> is true. Olson Canadian? Is that a Canadian? Uh, no, no, no background? It's no, it's actually a Norwegian. Norwegian, all yeah. right, all right. I had an encounter with one guy called Paul Olson one time. Very powerful. Yeah, but from Canada. Yeah, he robbed me. Do you know it? I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I, love you, I, I, I hope not. <laughs> Which of your talents, if you had to sum it up, do you think is responsible for us connecting at this particular time in history? Oh, which of my talents? Um, I'd say probably my, my ability to listen. Mm. Listen intently and really understand what what someone is trying to get get across. You know, sometimes people uh, say certain things, but um, you kind of have to read between the lines and, and try and understand you know, the next level down to figure out exactly what they're trying to say. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, I do a pretty good job of, of being able to pull out um, and understand what someone is, is trying to, to get across. Who do you learn that from? Uh, I don't know if I learned it from anybody necessarily. I think it's just the, something I've developed over time. Um, Probably, you know, probably can trace it back to my parents and the things that they've taught me. Um, mother or I've father. Always been, I've always been a quiet person. Sorry, mother or father? Uh, probably my, probably my mother. More mother. She's quieter. She's a little more introspective, and so I've, I think I've kind of developed that and watched her and practiced some of those, some mm -hmm. of those skills. It's been beneficial, hasn't it? Yeah. 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 It's a, it's a grand uh, talent. I must say, to be able to listen. I had to train for it. Believe me, I had to train to develop that. Why will you continue to repeat that skill now that you owned in on it? Why would I? Yes, sir. Well, I think it benefits um, not my personal life, but also um, here at work. You know, when I'm working with team members like Tom, um, oftentimes we have com tough conversations, but um, sometimes we talk past each other and don't quite understand. And so I think having that skill to listen to try and put myself in the shoes of somebody else and understand where they're coming from uh, it just helps. It helps us get unstuck from projects we're working on. It helps us kind of move forward. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Well, do tell people who you are and what you do here, please. Sure. So um, I'm Brandon Olson. I'm the marketing communications manager here at Eddie Weber. Um, my sole responsibility is, is managing our PR efforts. So work with the media. I put together events like the Podcast Virtual Summit. Yeah. I'm sure you'll be on the Podcast Virtual Summit. Um, Which is great. Yeah, I mean, you could I'm excited for that. Pour a bit more about that in terms of the Beyond podcast. Yeah, so it's a it's a virtual summit we're putting on on July 17th um, called the Beyond the Podcast Virtual Summit, and it's uh, it's geared towards podcasters to help them better connect outside the podcast. We need that. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got great listeners, but how are you connecting and building stronger relationships outside of that? So it's it's all geared towards that. We have a, a uh, four amazing speakers coming with John Lee Dumas, Amy Porterfield, Mark Asquith, and uh, Jessica Kupferman. We also have a couple people here at Weber who are going to be part of that summit. So it's a free it's a free event. Uh, I'm excited to put it on. Um, right do I sign up for that? So you go to pod, excuse me, you go to beyondthepodcastsummit.com. Sweet. Um, and uh, you'll be able to sign up, grab your free ticket there, and, and, uh, and get tuned in. That's good. Yeah. Weber always brings great value. Beyond the podcast summit.com. Long That's words. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me one other thing you've done consistently over the last three years, please. Uh, so one thing I've done consistently over the past three years. Um, that's, a, that's a good question. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think I've tried to stay focused on what's important in my life. You know, I, Family is, is, for me, is the most important thing, my family. And so I've, you know, trying to balance uh, between work, family, and other, you know, responsibilities. Uh, I've tried to, to be consistent in, in making my family the main priority, the main focus of my life. And, and that's, I've seen great benefits and, and uh, blessings from that. What does it make you feel? Well, it helps me feel connected right. better to my family. Like, I know what's going on. I, I, I feel a better connection with my, with my kids. 
kids. I've got four little boys. Wow. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's, it's being there for them, being there for my wife, you know, being able to connect and, and know what's going on and have a, a good relationship with them. Why would you suggest someone that's listening out here do what you've done by focusing in on family life? Well, I think, um, I mean, when it comes down to it, the only thing you can really take out of this life is the relationships you have, mm -hmm. the things that you've learned, you know, your career and stuff, that will, will come and go. Mm -hmm. You can't take that with you, um, it's, but your family is, is the thing that, that stays with you forever. So, um, you know, focusing on that is, is that's kind of why I feel like the focus on family is, is the most important because, you know, jobs come and go, you know, careers come and go, and, but your family's always there. Love that, love that, well done, well done. Well, my friend, let's switch gears for a moment now. Let, let's imagine, right? So let me invite you into my imaginary time machine, right? That's surrounded with beautiful, warm, similar to this, blue water, right? Uh, what is your earliest childhood memory? Earliest childhood memory? Wow. Um, I would have to say uh, I was living in San Bernardino, California. I was probably three or four years old. Uh, and I remember playing with the clothes hamper and pretending it was sort of like a, a cage. Mm -hmm. So I could get under there, I could pull it over my head. And I right. imagine I was, I don't know exactly what I was imagining, but <laughs> I was playing and, and maybe I was imagining I was a, a zoo animal or something like right, that. Right, right. Yeah, that's my earliest childhood memory. Why do you think that memory is so good? I don't know. Um, I have no idea. Sure. It's just it comes to mind. Maybe it's maybe it uh, because it's imaginative, maybe because it's uh, you know something that I, I enjoy doing. I'm not sure. All right, all right. If you had to connect that memory to who you are today, do you think it's possible? Uh, sure, sure. Like I, I really enjoy being creative and thinking of really interesting um, ideas. Um, my mind's always going thinking of like what. What little projects could I work on? Yeah. Um, what little side hustles could I start? You know, so maybe that's kind of the, the source of that, you know, the imagine, imaginative, creative thinking that I have when I was three playing with the yeah, music. So can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Yeah? yeah. I like the idea of listening and how it's necessary to cool this down. Like I remember in podcasting, uh, one of the, the, the cheats we have is that most times we don't do video to, to video so we don't see the individual's face and what that gives us is like listening so we really strap in usually in a room or a basement or somewhere as a podcaster but we get to listen and i like the the metaphor if you would have you covering yourself mm -hmm. to listen you know within yeah. yourself yeah. pretty pretty beautiful yeah, that's cool you know uh, that way. if we fast forward to when you were 12 what was your favorite song when i was 12 yeah I wasn't into music when I was going off to school, yeah. but uh, maybe maybe as I started, maybe around that time I started getting into like punk. punk right. Music. What song pops up in your mind? Or? Oh, I don't remember the song names. But right. I really like. Are you gonna sing it for? No, no. no. <laughs> okay. But I, I loved Face to Face when I was younger. All right, all right. That was one. That, that's one that pops up. I find it fascinating how like the names of songs and conversations connect. You know, just the fact that I mean we were just face to face talking, <laughs> right? <laughs> But I think you treasure face to face more than anything else. Is that accurate? Yeah. Yeah? It's pretty amazing, right? Or yeah. connect, right? Yeah. yeah. You pay me when you're going out, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friend. If we what I'll do now is like do like we reach where we are in this time machine. However, there's a declaration form, so it's yes or no. Possibly a bit more. Have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Uh yes. You said you're married, right? Yeah. You have four boys, right? How right. old are they? Uh, ages two, three, six, and eight. Wow. Do you believe in God? Yeah, I do. Do you have an inner circle of friends? I do. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. Three hours a week? Uh, yeah. What about screen time, phone, and or computer? More than eight or less than eight hours a day? Oh, well, I work in an office, so <laughs> more than eight. If you had to share with us, right, your own unique real statement, a statement that represents Brandon Olson, what would you say that is? Hmm. Uh, I'd say that was a 
statement for representing me, or? Um, I'd say uh, be be true to who you really are. Yeah. And if it means you need to cover them with the coach alpha to do that, do it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. My friend, thank you for being on what is inspired by 12 minute combos with Thank you. Thanks for having me.